Okay, if you're going to do a power steering pump on your own, you need one of these pullers to get the, to get the pulley on and off. Uh, this is an old one from KD Tools. I've had this for probably 20 years. Um, auto parts stores, if you don't have your own, the auto parts stores will rent it. This is pretty much what it comes with. First thing we need to do is pull this off. So I'll kind of show you how the tool sets up to uh, pull that off. But these will take off, they'll take them off and put them back on. So you just need this kit uh, if you're going to do the pull, you know, do the power steering on your own. So you're going to uh, put this in there, kind of set it up like that. And then you slide this sleeve over that holds it on there. And then you're going to get this and screw that down. And then you'll get a wrench and a, and a socket to tighten that and then that'll pull that off. So that'll pull it off the shaft. Of course, this one's broken. This was within there. So yours will come off all as one piece. So now we'll put, we got a new pulley. So we'll throw this away and then we'll put, we'll use the same tool to put the new pulley on the new pump. All right, so here we go. We got the new pulley. It's uh, Dorman. They're plastic, but that's what comes on them. So anyway, uh, I like to spray a little lube on that. And then you want to put this on uh, the right way. You know, you want this facing outward towards you so that if you ever, if you ever have to pull it off, uh, you know, number one, it's that's the way it goes on. And then, uh, you know, just so you know, this is the way this ridge here spaces outward. And that's so you can get the tool on there to ever take it off. Um, and these are press fit. So don't just set it on there and beat on it. You want to use your tool here to uh, put this on the right way. So I'll set that up and I'll show you how that's done. All right, so you're gonna to want to get the right stud uh, out of your kit that will screw into your power, power steering pump. And then you want to put your bearing from the kit, put it over there, and then take your thrust washer, put that over there. And then you're gonna take this set up here and screw that onto your stud. until it's tight all right and then you just screw this down and what we're going to do is we'll hold this and then we'll screw this down and that'll push down on this until this pulley bottoms out so we'll screw this down to it until it's flush and then you'll hold this end and then screw that and that'll pull the pulley down all right so this is how it should be set up now it's kind of a boring process to uh, put it on but like i said you just put your ratchet up here you hold that stud and then put a wrench on there and turn that down until this pulley bottoms out. And then you can check it from behind to see, uh, like this, I already uh, put this on about halfway. Um, but anyway, you can see behind here when it bottoms out. And it should almost be flush with uh, the front too. Don't go crazy and just keep torquing on it, torquing on it. These are pretty, they, once you get them started, they go down pretty easy. So just uh, take it down until it's, pretty tight and then you should be good and then just check and make sure it's flush so anyway i'm going to go ahead and do this uh run this one down then i'll kind of show you what it looks like afterwards all right so i took the tool off you can see here it's almost flush with this uh you know with this and there's really no clearance behind it so that's like i said you want to get it to where it's tight but you don't want to just go nuts and you know these are plastic so um anyway that's how it should look after it's on now it's ready to go back on the car